Then you come in. Yeah. It's not so. Hello, welcome to another episode of Mothership Heads Out. Woo! We're at the zoo today. We're at the zoo. You cannot see the animals yet. But there are no animals yet. So today we're at the zoo. So actually you should let us know what animals you want us to see. Mm, and then yes. maybe if it's in popular demand, uh, we'll try to spot them. Yes. Okay, so why we're at the zoo is because there's also a campaign ongoing. It's the uh, Disney Outdoor Explorers. Uh, reunite the Doodles animal event. So it's not happening now, but it's happening on 21st November all the way to 27th December. So it's perfect for families and those with uh, those families with kids. Like you can bring your kids along and and do all the activities. Perfect. So we'll we'll get we'll catch some of those uh, activities today. But more importantly, we are going to spot the animals. Let's spot the animals. Our first stop. Oh, the the cheetah is out there eh? now. So oh. that's great. Okay, our first stop is the cheetah. But before that, we're going to head over and introduce to you our guide, uh, Sherlin, who's with the Zoo Education team. So let's go. Noise! Let's go! See some cheetahs. It's a beautiful day today. Very nice, all the greens. April, how are you feeling, April? Quite excited. Uh. Excited to see the cheetah? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so this is Sherlin. Uh, she's with the Zoo Education team. I'll Leave it to her to introduce herself. <laughs> okay, hi. Um, hi. I'm Shaleen. I'm from the education uh, team here in Singapore Zoo. So, welcome. And also, this is a period where we're going to have a very special uh, outdoor explorers campaign from Disney. And then, I'm also going to share with you uh, what are some things you can do around the zoo and also the different animals that all of you know you're going to see. Maybe secretive, I don't know. But yeah, so which animal do you want to start with? Yeah, since we are at the cheetah exhibit, Let's spot the cheetah. Earlier it was not out, right? Yeah. Because it was shy. But now I see like both cheetahs are out. Yes. Okay, let's let's take a look. And if you have a look, she's actually doing something very interesting oh, now. It's peeing. Yeah. <laughs> so what she's doing, she's actually marking the tree. So so, so it's not just peeing, it's marking no, the tree. Yeah, it's a special special kind of marking. Oh, every day also Which I is why they shoot it onto the tree. Ah. Yeah. So we usually have two cheetahs here in our exhibit. But for this campaign, for our Disney Explorers campaign, we have a third cheetah that's hidden among the fences. So no. April, you want to try and look for the third cheetah? Hmm. Real, real or fake cheetah? If it's among <laughs> the fences, it should be fake. Fake right? cheetah, it should, it should be fake. Cheetah. <laughs> okay, so the fences, right? I think you guys can see. Oh. So this is part of the, it's part of the Disney Explorers campaign. Yep. So, okay, so if you look at the booklet, it's one of the activities within the booklet. And since April you found it, you have to finish all the activities, but today's special. So, you oh, get I a get keychain a... like this. A Mickey keychain, can you see? Yeah. Okay, you yeah. can hold it. Nice! So, that's the Mickey keychain that you can get once you finish the zoo activities. Okay, let's take a look at the cheetah. Alright. So, uh, what's their name? Uh, I'm actually not very sure. I think one of it is called Deca, but I can't remember the second. Ooh, look at it, look at it! Marking the territory, yeah. very nice. They just came out of their back then, which is why I think they're still getting uh, acquainted with the current exhibit. Because this morning the keeper was sweeping the exhibit and making it clean. Mm. So they do this every morning? Uh, actually, it's up to them. If they feel like this place doesn't feel like them or doesn't smell like them, then they will come along more. Okay, so uh, Ida on Facebook asked, uh, all the animals woke up already, uh, quite early. Uh. Yes, most of the animals wake up. I think it's because in the morning it's very cool, so most of the animals are awake in the morning. If you come in the afternoon where the sun is really up in the middle of the sky and it's very very warm, that's when most of our animals will be sleeping. So uh, it's usually in the morning if you come, they are very active, they are eating, they are exploring their exhibit. You heard it here first guys, come to the zoo early, that's when everyone's awake. Yes. Okay, so if you're just joining us, now we're at the, the zoo, and what we're looking at now is the cheetah. So actually we also have a giveaway, where uh, by the live stream, you should see, if you leave a comment at the end of the live stream of four of the animals that we spotted today, and then you will get a chance to win uh, 
tickets to Singapore Zoo and River Safari. Who wouldn't want that, man? Yeah, so just keep track of the four of the animals at least uh, that we spot today or meet today and then just leave a comment at the end of the live stream. So first one is uh, Cheetah, right? Yes, look at it. Look at it, Majest majestic paws. Remember, it's a cheetah, not leopard, not jaguar. Cheetah. Yeah, so if you have any questions about cheetahs, you can leave them in the comments. But I have one question first for Shirlin. Oh, yes. So it's a, it's a bit of a silly question, uh, but what's the difference between a cheetah and a leopard? Okay, so um, if you're going to look at a big cat that looks like this, and then uh, you want to figure out whether it's a leopard or a cheetah, you can actually look at the spots. So for cheetah, you, their spots are polka dots, but for leopards, their are actually rings or what we call rosettes. Oh. Yeah. Then on the other hand, jaguar also looks different. They have rosettes and then a dot in the middle. So actually, all three cats look very similar, but they are also very they, their spots are very different. And for cheetahs, they are a bit more special because although they are big, their heads are very small. Mm. That's because it helps them uh, run super fast. I mean, you know, right? They are the fastest land yeah. animal. Yeah. So it helps them run very fast. Yeah, whole body structure is very different from the other two tiny cats. Okay. Hmm. Why is he looking at me? Eh? He haven't eaten breakfast. Eh? Uh, <laughs> probably you're the most exciting thing here. Oh, yes, yes. I am very <laughs> exciting. But yeah, you see the tongue coming out. You hungry, ah, boy? Yeah, they are first you. visitors. They are waiting for a good morning. Oh, not only, now your friend also looking at me. <laughs> Oi. Hello. Good morning. I'm not food. Yeah, we are not food. <laughs> yeah, okay, okay. Well, quite, quite scary, eh, bro. <laughs> See, you can do something else. Okay. <laughs> oh, they are making a lot of noise and getting their attention. So. Yeah, they, they're just staring at us. Stare, see me stare. Okay. So, hey, can we look back at the, the third cheetah? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This cheetah very friendly. Yeah. I like this cheetah. Okay, yeah, the, the interesting thing is that it's along the fences, right? If I think it's for the younger kids who are shorter. They can immediately spot it because from this height, you can see quite clearly. But if you're taller, right, you can't really see the, the cheetah. Yeah, you yeah now, now you can see it clearly. Mm, yes, very nice. Very nice cheetah. This one is friendly. Unlike that one. That one still stares. Yeah. That one still staring. Okay, so we're gonna move on soon. Uh, but before that, we're also gonna give you an opportunity to decide what you want us to see. So we have a, for, for our next location, we have a choice between zebras and giraffes or penguins. So do you want us to go to the zebras and giraffes or do you want us to go to penguins? Vote, vote, vote. You yeah, you can start voting, commenting, and then we'll go to whoever, whichever is the most popular choice. Yeah. All right. So we shall wait while you all vote. And while you all vote, we stare back at him. Hello? Okay, okay so Ber Bernard on Facebook asked uh, what, what do cheetahs, uh, what are cheetahs fed with? Um, okay, so here in the zoo, we actually have a special uh, nutritionist that helps to plan their diets and make sure that the food uh, replicates whatever they can find in the wild. So here, they are provided with meat at a certain um, proportion that they can take according to their weight, according to their age, um, and also according to their gender sometimes. Uh, here, I think we feed them a chicken, but I am sure there are also other permutations. I'm just not very sure because there are so many kinds of meat that uh, they can serve here. We oh, all like chicken. Mm, <laughs> very nice. Yeah. yeah, but we don't give them any live food. Uh, if you were wondering, it's all just uh, pet meat and all these meat are safe for human consumption. So all our animals eat food that are safe for us. Okay, okay. that's nice to know. Okay. okay, it seems that the penguins are winning. Uh, <laughs> most people want to see penguins. We posted an Instagram story yesterday as well. And a lot of people also wanted to see penguins and pandas. So pandas, we'll actually see them at the end uh, of our show. So it's, since penguins are winning, we are going to go and visit the penguins. Alright! Okay. So we're going to hop on the buggy. Yes. But, okay, while we prepare the buggy, actually the zebras are just there. Like, we can just sh show the zebras. You don't want to see zebras or not? Hello, yeah, zebra. let's go nearer. Okay, la, come. We slowly, slowly go see zebra, okay? Slowly, slowly. No problem. Since you're at home, right? Huh? Just wake up. 
you'll get a free ticket to the zoo now because you can see some animals and who doesn't want to see some majestic zebras let's go look at them all having breakfast huh Then all the all the friends here, right? And one lonely fellow here. Okay. Remember guys, don't leave your friends behind. Oh we still them. Oh yeah, he enjoys his own pal. Uh, so or maybe he's, he yeah. wants to eat alone. One. So it's not the friend's fault. The friends know him already, but he don't want. <laughs> Is there anything special about uh, this zebra? Uh these zebras are the gravy zebra and they are actually the largest out of all the zebras. So they can be identified with their big round ears. Um, their ears are a lot rounder and a lot larger than other zebras. And also, uh, they have a white underbelly. So if you have seen other zebras before, they don't have that white belly. You know how big their ears are? Huge. It's almost, it's almost like the Mickey Mouse. <laughs> oh, yes. you're right. <laughs> the hidden Mickey. Yeah, but I promise they are zebras, they are not mouse. Yeah. <laughs> we can see that. <laughs> and there's an ostrich also, they... Yes. They can coexist peacefully. Yes, they do. Uh, even in Africa, the animals they all live uh, together in the same area. So here in this exhibit, we have the zebras and two ostriches. Where the other one? You want to try looking for it? Why is it at the fence also? No, it's not. It's <laughs> close to the fence. Oh, eh, hey, you oh. hiding there? Huh? <laughs> Naughty girl. That oh, one's oh, a boy. Oh, it's a boy. Oh, it's a naughty boy. Naughty boy. <laughs> the one closer to us is the female. Shy, shy, shy boy. What? Well, I couldn't see it. If you didn't tell me. Alright, so these are some majestic zebras enjoying their breakfast. Yummy! Nothing. Oh, uh, there's a question on the cheetahs. Lah. So let's go back to the... Not go. We don't have to go back to the cheetahs, but someone asked uh, Sherlyn, are cheetahs spotted if you don't spot them? Oh! That's a million dollar question right there. Are cheetahs spotted if you don't spot them? Uh, How are you going uh, to answer this? I mean if you don't see them... They technically have no spots. Yeah, yeah. because you don't see anything. Wow. Yeah, I agree with that logic. <laughs> okay, I think we, we should move on to, our, to the penguins now. So in the meantime, if you have any questions about the penguins or... you have any stories or funny videos about penguins that you... You've seen online, you can you can share them in the comments, and maybe we will talk about them uh, later when we see them actually. So penguins wanna? Yeah, penguins. So let's go. All right. Goodbye, zebras. Enjoy your food. We're heading to the buggy. Ah, how many of y'all never ride buggy before? Y'all come to the zoo, but y'all must walk, right? Okay. Okay, everyone in? So Shelly here is driving us now. Yeah, the lights are in my hands. It's okay. So when we'll also actually pass by the giraffes, right? That's right. You will be on your right. So right. we'll look out for the giraffes. Yeah. Uh, oh, there they are. They are eating. So we have two giraffes here, father and son. The darker one is the dad, his name is Marco, and the younger one is the lighter one. Ours is Goodbye. <laughs> also, uh, Isabel on Facebook asked, are, zebra, are zebras white with black stripes or black with white stripes? Oh, what a million dollar question that is. That's a great question. Um, actually, there are a lot of tests for that also, and they found that um, most zebras are black with white stripes because under their coat, uh, their skin is black, more blackish in color than it is white. Oh. So it's actually yeah. black with white stripes. Yeah. There you have it, guys. Mm. Same as the uh, zebra. Not crossing.
So penguins won and penguins are delivered. So our oh, careful. So our ahead we have the African, African penguins. penguins. African penguins. African. So let's go take a look. Jom, what are we waiting for? You know, you always think penguins will be like in the North Pole, South Pole. This is African penguins. Eh? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah. the penguins don't need to have snow. Still one. considered the South Hemisphere, but not really the pole. So these are the African penguins. Oh, look at them. One of them are awake. So they look a lot smaller than uh, the emperor penguins that we are familiar with. And the keepers actually feeding the penguins if you are able to see past the grass, I think. So if you have any questions about the African penguins, you can ask. Oh! Empty. It's feeding time. Yeah, it is feeding time. It's breakfast. So penguins, they love to eat fish. That's because they swim very well, so they get most of their diet from under the water. So African penguins, they actually love eating sardines. Herring and Okay, Isaac Ng asks, uh, what is their diet? Oh, here in, here in the zoo, uh, they eat a lot of fishes. The keepers prepare a lot of fishes. So I'm not sure if the, you saw the keeper actually drop the fish into the penguin's throat. So they eat a lot of fishes here. Um, different kinds of fishes. They have uh, chicken pudding, like the kind that you see in your nasi mm. Or like uh, some of them shishamo, like those pregnant fishes you see in Japanese restaurants. So they eat such fishes here uh, in the zoo. Okay, then another, someone else asked, uh, do the penguins eat ikan bilis because they are so small? Uh, no, because the ikan bilis is probably not going to fill their tummy very much. But they do eat anchovies, uh, which kind of, ikan bilis kind of fall in the family of anchovies, but they, uh, they eat the larger ones. Okay. Oh, look at them. All of them want breakfast. Uh, Wei Wei asked, uh, are they going to go out for their morning walk? Treat that they had when the park is closed, the people did bring them out for a walk. But there is an outdoor area that they could explore if they would like. So, African penguins they live along the coast of Africa, so they are actually adapted to warmer temperatures as compared to the other penguins. So, here the one that you're looking at is their indoor den where it's colder. But they, if they would like, they could actually head outside and have a swim outdoors or just like bask in the sun for a little before coming back into the cool den. Okay, uh, I don't know how to pronounce this name. <laughs> uh, Saliza asks, Saliza asks uh, do they give pebbles as a proposal to their mates? Uh, so do they give pebbles to propose yeah. to each other? Yeah, I mean there are clips and there are information on that. Careful. Not only pebbles, sometimes uh, the males also pick uh, nest building materials like twigs or leaves and pass it to the female to make her comfortable as she's resting. Uh, I think none of them are building nests now because all of them are very hungry. But if you come and you observe, sometimes the males will kind of help build a nest for the females to rest in. So I guess that's also quite romantic, right? Don't have to be pebbles. Oh, they mm. Yeah, like other penguins, they cannot fly. They swim very well and then they waddle, waddle most of the time. And then they waddle, 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 
the other penguins. They're just chilling. Morning, morning chill. So, someone else also asked, what activities do the penguins do to keep them active? Okay. So, here are our keepers. Actually, not only the penguins, a lot of other animals, but if we are only talking about the penguins, the keepers actually know what are the penguins' natural behaviors. So they are very good um, hoppers and very good balancing skills. So if you look inside the exhibit, what they have done this time is to put a few rubber tires so that the penguins can kind of climb onto it and balance around the rubber tires. So uh, sometimes what they do is they create obstacle courses for these penguins, like create dips in the ground so that the, if the penguin walk, they have to kind of maneuver around the dip or like have little hills. Penguin also got SOC. Okay, we have more questions about penguins, but we're gonna move on to orangutans and uh, if that's opposite, so we'll move on and then hopefully answer some of the questions about penguins. Okay, everyone in the comments say goodbye to the penguins because yeah. we're not gonna see them again. The only way to see them is if you win the free ticket to the zoo. Yeah, yeah so we spotted the giraffes, then we have zebra, not zebra. And we spotted giraffes, zebras, and cheetahs, and now penguins, right? So just leave a comment on four of the animals that we spotted today, and then you will stand a chance to win tickets to Singapore Zoo and River Safari. Oh, it's saying bye-bye! Bye! Okay, that's a nice move, right? Let's move on. Yeah. Alright, let's go, April! Take us there! Yeah. Okay. 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 someone also asked, uh, so they are allowed, the, the penguins are allowed to roam the park if there are no visitors? Uh, they are technically, technically allowed if they are supervised by their keepers, but it's really up to their keepers to decide if today's enrichment includes walking around the park. But they only did this um, more often during the circuit breaker period. Now that the park is open, there are a lot of smells and there can be a lot of distractions, which is why they don't bring the animals out as often. Alright, we're just next door where we can see the orangutan. Uh, one thing also asks, uh, what do zookeepers do normally on their normal day besides uh, the normal routines, the like feeding and all that? Um, so what they do is they also plan all these enrichments that we were talking about. So other than feeding and cleaning the exhibit, they also uh, plan the kind of games that they can play for, the, I mean, the animals. And then they also uh, help take care of any sick animals if there is. They help to observe. Sometimes they also take down data so that they can do tests for these animals like whether the animals are kind of are eating well for a certain diet and stuff like that so actually a keeper here does many 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 things yes 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 okay so we are at the free-ranging orangutan island right yes so why, why is it called free-ranging because um now the area we see in front of us is orangutan island but there are actually many other places around the island where the orangutans can be free-ranging for example if you look on the right, those uh, little ropes up in the sky, or not in the sky, in the trees, or like some areas behind us. So all these are areas that the orangutans can kind of free range, which is why we call them the free ranging uh, orangutan exhibit. Okay, there are some otters going into the. Yeah. There are three otters in there. Let's take a look at the otters. <laughs> all right. Good. So in this exhibit, other than the orangutans, we also have otters. We just went for a dive. They must come up there, oh. and there we go. So a lot of these animals coexist, huh? We saw yes. the ostrich with the uh, with the zebra, then we see the otters with the yes. orangutans. So for this particular exhibit, the otters uh, they usually hang around in the water or around uh, the grassy areas. While orangutans they are arboreal, which means they are tree dwelling, so they are usually found higher above the ground. So I can find one orangutan and she is up on top. Oh. Oh, that, that was the given? Yes, that's a given. So orangutans, they are reddish uh, gold in colour. That The black one that you just saw me off the platform, that's a given. I only see the hand. Everyone's hiding today. Oh. oh, there we go. We have more there on the ground. Good morning, everybody. The chances are because it's early in the morning, so keepers uh, left some seeds or some fruit around, so they're just looking for these food. Breakfast. Okay. okay, so now we are at the free-ranging orangutan island. We are at the zoo. So if you have any questions or 
about the animals or about the orangutans or any animals that you'd like to see, just leave a comment and we'll try to spot them. So for now, I, I think we have an activity that we can do here, right, as yes. part of the campaign. Yes, we do. So part of the campaign, we also have a free activity that's going on called the Doodle Mission. So what you have to do is you just come down to the zoo and collect a Doodle Mission card. Ooh, what's that? So it looks something like this. It has a map and then it has an activity at the back so maybe Abriel can try doing the activity for this one so this one you just have to visit Orangutan Island have a look at what the Orangutans are doing and then doodle what the Orangutans are doing below Orangutan now is having breakfast okay so then let's let Abriel try to draw an Orangutan having breakfast Abriel you can draw <laughs> I'll try you can try okay okay, okay. so just sure. now you saw the I saw actually just now the Orangutan having breakfast right we can show them and then as I call. Why you you, you look, draw me like one of your French girls? Oh, and then I draw the orangutan in me. I hope. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, I'm not quite an artist, uh. Okay, Obviously. They say left-handers are better drawers. Ah, uh, you will be the, surprised. He's the exception, isn't yeah, he's the only <laughs> exception, I think. <laughs> oh, what is he doing, boy? You're finding the seeds that the zookeepers have left around. It's quite bad at the drawing. Okay. It's okay, we'll still encourage you to come. So they eat seeds in the morning? Um, different things. So they have a whole collection of seeds and other like bugs. Wow. Proud for the details of the space. <laughs> wow! I can't tell the difference! You see? This is uh... <laughs> yeah, this is uh... Wait, wait, this is expectations. And then this is reality. <laughs> <laughs> That's right guys. All you need to do is draw like April. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think people get it. <laughs> Yeah, so all you gotta do is you just need to doodle it onto the card and then go to the redemption booth, pass it to the person, even if you draw like April, it's okay. Um, just let the person see and then that's where you can exchange for a charm, which looks like this. Who doesn't want a charm, guys? Okay, so for the zoo, we have three different designs. The cheetah, the elephant, and the orangutan. Let me try to flip it. So the designs are... Will, will differ based on the stipulated dates depending on which day you come but uh, everything is while stocks last so remember to come very early if you can do the activity and then you'll have a higher chance of redeeming it after you're done yeah so okay now let's get back to the action right here of finding that's seeds given. on the floor yeah that's the most exciting of the activity they have now <laughs> alright if you didn't see the gibbon he has been swinging around right there Look at him. Look at oh, him. They are, they are, the orangutans are holding hands. Oh, is it? Yeah. Look. They're going for their morning walk. Okay, let's see. <laughs> are they... We don't know if they are a couple, right? No, we don't know. Huh. But it's okay because orangutans are known to care for one another quite well. Uh, they, are, they usually take care of uh, one another and also sometimes uh, their friends' babies, which is oh, what wow. happens in this exhibit quite often. So I guess even if they're really, really good friends, they'll just be friends. Are they territorial? Um, in their group, not really, but they can get very fierce when it comes to uh, other orangutans that come to school. Okay. But they, they are sharing this space very well with the gibbons, so that's good news. And also very well with the otters because they just live in two different places together. Okay, uh, there's also a photo point mm -hmm. as part of the Disney campaign. Yeah. Uh, just there, so let's go and, and okay. take a look. Okay. Bye orangutans. Bye orangutans, gibbons and otters. We are going to the photo point. Yeah. So part of this campaign, you can come and take like pretty cute pictures with Mickey and the doodle animals. And also another very special thing you can do is all on, on all our photo points in the zoo and in River Safari, there are hidden Mickeys. So that's a challenge. You can come, spot three hidden Mickeys, take picture, and then you can go and ex exchange for an exclusive gift. 
So would you try to find the hidden mystery? Yeah. For the hidden so if you're just joining us, we are at the zoo. And earlier we saw cheetahs, orangutans, penguins, zebras, and giraffes. And now we are at this photo point. Later on, we'll go and see the pandas uh, at River Safari and also the pelican. But for now, we're going to try and spot the hidden Mickey because right. they're going to have a Disney campaign uh, from 21st of November. Yes. Okay. So you need to look for three to exchange for one, but since today's a special day, you just look for one. I find already, April. You I cannot also, find, right? I found it already. Oh. Where? Where? Not, not, cannot be Mickey Mouse, you know. Must be a hidden Mickey. It's a hidden Mickey. Where's ya? You must point. You too short, are you? <laughs> just, just above the orangutan. Just above the orangutan. You see it? Just above the orangutan. <laughs> you see not? <laughs> and you say you're very good at finding. <laughs> yeah, I found one, sir. Yeah. <laughs> you tell me where. You tell me where. Yeah, just on top. Okay. You move up. Do you not see yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I only see no, this one. Come here, come here. You point. You point. Oh, oh there! Yeah. Okay, yeah. so since April already found one, and I think you found another one also. Wait, wait, I'll show you the other one. Okay. Nah, this one is way more clearer, guys. Come on. Like, how can you? Oh, I didn't, I didn't see that. Obviously, because. Okay. okay, so then that's two out of three. So you can exchange for an exclusive gift, which is a sticker pack like that. Ooh. So this is for you. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, uh, happy kid. <laughs> we have to. Give it away. You want my nephews or niece? Oh, sure, April. <laughs> you don't want to keep it, huh? Okay, so uh, we'll be moving on to River Safari shortly. Uh, we're gonna hop on the buggy, but you can see the gibbons uh, for now. Alright, alright. Oh, the orang is also swinging. Come, let's see the orang returns. Gibbons. Okay, so you're just joining us. We're at the zoo, and we're at the zoo uh, for another episode of Mothership Heads Out. And yeah, we've seen uh, we had the orangutan, free ranging orangutan island, and earlier we saw giraffe, uh, cheetahs, uh, and also zebras and penguins. And now we're gonna move on to River Safari shortly. Once the buggy comes, we're gonna hop on. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but for now we can take a look at the gibbons and and orangutans, but also. Someone also earlier asked about uh, penguins walking around, right? Uh, whether they can walk around freely in the zoo when there's no one. So actually, we, there's a video on that that we will show you during our ride to to the River to River Safari. Yeah. All right. Who doesn't like walking penguins? In the meantime, let's take a look at orangutans. Good morning, everybody. Rise and shine. What time already? You're supposed to. Oh, hello. Yes, doing your morning exercise. Ah, I'm really coming in. Okay, since, Sh since Shirlene is not here, I'll be the stand-in guide. If you have any questions on the orangutans, I'll try to answer them. Ah, uh, bro, you here for a few hours only. You want to step one to keep her, huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Can ask me like, do you know that uh? The Singapore Zoo has contributed to conservation of orangutans uh, by breeding endangered apes. Uh. Nice. You know where I got that info? Yes, uh? yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, yes. That's what zookeepers do. They just refer to the, the signboards. Okay, so now we're gonna hop on to the buggy and then we're gonna go to River Safari. Don't go away because we're gonna see the pandas later and also the pelican. Alright. Yeah. I'd love to see some pandas, but now I want to see the orangutan. So. Okay, okay. <laughs> Orangutan, orangutan. Why are you so sad, huh? Guys, this orangutan is a total mood. They're just chilling on a Thursday morning.
Okay, we are at River Safari now. Woo! That's where the pandas will be, right? Yes, so we'll see the pandas in a bit. Okay, but we're not going to the pandas first. First, we have uh, we have two very special animals waiting for us. But uh, Shirley's got a doodle, and let us guess what those uh, animals uh, are. Uh, so just now I was doodling, right? <laughs> it was my very bad drawing. Let's see if Shirley can doodle better. Just okay, I'll try. Laugh at April, right? Ah, huh? now. You how you do well, I think I can do better than the orangutan. <laughs> okay, so what a flex. Once you <laughs> once you spot uh, once you look at uh, Shirley's drawing, try to guess uh, what animal is it? Uh. Oh no! <laughs> yeah, so uh, you don't guess wrongly. It's not your fault, guys. <laughs> it is not your fault. It's just my artistic skills. Yeah, so Shirley here is a part-time artist. Pig, uh. <laughs> oh, look at that! <laughs> oh, you guys. Come on, comment on what Actually, animal it is. Yeah, this is easier to draw than the orangutan now. No, oh no, yeah, no, that's no, what no, you're saying no, now. That's a very distinguishing feature, right? Is well, orangutan has long limbs, that's so... Yeah, so uh, what, what is this, guys? I think it's a duck. Uh. <laughs> it's a big duck. <laughs> it's a big duck. Uh. A, a duck doesn't a, look like that. It's a big, big. Uh, it's a duck. It's a big duck with a big, big. <laughs> so, come guys, comment on what you think Shirley drew. Because um, I think it's a pretty good drawing. I think so too. Oh, myself. Yes. <laughs> Love the confidence. So yeah. We know for sure it's a bird, right? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, we're just uh, waiting for y'all to comment on what it is before we reveal what it okay. is. Okay, actually I think a lot of people know what it is. Right? It's a pelican. <laughs> oh, it's not a crow. So yeah, Shirley's drawing is not bad. Yeah. Okay, so let's go see. Let's go visit yeah. the pelican. Alright, we are gonna see some big pelicans. It's no joke guys, really quite huge. Okay. I'm quite surprised. Okay. Hold on to your horses. Oh my lord, look at that. Say hello everybody to the pelican. So Isaac being <laughs> Dylan, you all guessed it correctly, it's the pelican. Bye Isaac. Okay, so these are our pelicans uh, from River Safari. And then here we have our friends who introduced the pelicans to us and yeah. to Abril. Can you, can you guys introduce yourselves and what we'll be doing here? Okay, sure. Hi everyone, I am Tasha. Together with my friend here, we have Koshan. And also let's not forget the two pelicans. We Woo! have Chewy and Luke. Okay, Chewy is 8 years old, Luke is 10. Okay, from the names it's 
itself, you can actually guess how we name the Falcons. You watch Star Wars? Oh yeah, Chewie and Luke. Yeah, Luke Skywalker and Chewbacca. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so these birds, they are one of the largest flying birds from Africa. And they are extremely lightweight, by the way. They weigh approximately about 10 kilograms each. What? They don't look, they don't look like they weigh 10 kilograms. Yeah. They don't look like they weigh 10 <laughs> kilograms at all. Yeah. So, so what are we doing? What activity? Well, we're actually um, doing some everything. Them. So enrichment is more like an engagement time uh, and fun time for them. So this is a usual time that we play with them uh, before the program starts. Okay. So like for example, you know, they do have got very... Um, one thing about pelicans, they do have got a very distinctive feature and that will be their stretchable throat pouch right here. See that? Well, it can actually stretch and contain up to about 13 liters of water. And how big? Well, let me demonstrate. When I throw this bottle over here, they're going to expand the throat pouch and catch this. So let's see, let's take a look at the loop. One, two, go! You see that? Oh it's as if it's like a small fish. And how about like a big fish like this? Okay, let's try this. Look! Wow. See how big the throat pouch can actually expand. Yeah, I think Shui really wants to have a bit of that. Yeah, but this chewy, your okay. turn. Well, these are actually a full aquatic bird. As you can see from the feet. Wet. Yes, it's full wet feet. It's so a they wet feet. Paddle right in the water to help them find food. Okay, we have a question from uh, Yan Ling. Uh, not question, and there is a remark. Uh, she said pelicans are scary. Are they? Used to be, oh. but not until you get to know them. Yeah, so I, I guess animals are scary to you because you don't build a rapport with them. But once you establish a rapport with them, it's like a friendly uh, terms really. So that's where you actually reduce the phobia with them. Yeah, so that goes to all animals. So this doesn't look too scary. Yeah, <laughs> it looks friendly. Yes, okay. very friendly. Christina also asked, uh, she said they look cute. How tall are they and how tall can they go? Well, how tall? Um, tall enough lah. <laughs> tall enough? You know, yeah, yeah. Depends on if they raise their, their long you know, distance. Uh, a great white pelican, their weight can range between 10 to 15 kilograms. So they are on the average weight. Um, so for definitely a pelican that's about 15 kilograms, they can get a little bit taller because um, definitely a lot more bulkier in size as well. So how tall is Luke and Chewy? It really depends on how much it stretch their neck. Ooh. Okay, you can see right now, you see this is how much they can stretch their neck up to. But when they stand, uh, it's what Chewy right now, this is a normal height for him, when he stand like that. And I guess that's about 1 to 1.2 meters in height. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Uh, Wei Wei asks, do they bite others? Do they bite others like others like what? Ah, you try that, April, you stand there and smell it. Must stand behind the yellow line. Uh. Oh, 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 I see, I see. What a uh, rule abiding system uh, you are. Excuse. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you all also know it's an excuse. Huh? Well, okay. they don't bite like other animals when they, they don't they have teeth. Yeah, right? but you see the big. Can I show you the big? Well, they do. Uh, no, it, it's pretty it's sharp, sharp, right? The top here. Yeah, you can slice. Yes. Oh, is it? Yep. Slice? What, what do you mean by slice? Like paper cut only goes. Paper cut only goes. Oh no. Let's try to get near them. So they. They will. Oh. Yes. They'll just open and put um, whichever, like maybe your hand, inside the mouth and they just pull. Yeah. Ouch. Yeah. Yes, ouch. So do they fly much actually? Do they fly much? Um, not really. They like to swim. You're drowned even in water. You know, flying is mostly done moving from places to places, like for example, migration. They could actually migrate from Africa all the way to parts of Asia, even parts of Europe. By flying? Yes. Wow. Then, no, by ship. <laughs> <laughs> by what? <laughs> okay. Ask me okay. Benjamin asked, uh, I mean, he's quite confident. He said pelicans can die. How deep can they dive up to? Not these pelicans. Not these? The ones that can dive are the brown pelicans. So it's a different species? So it's 
So altogether, uh, I think the majority of the factors that can't die. Except the brown. So what are they doing now? They are making themselves look good. Oh, for the camera, guys. Oh, huh? yes. Do it for the gram. Look at Chewy right there. Chewy. Oh, oh, oh. 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 <laughs> Chewy says hello. Good morning. Oh. <laughs> Any other questions for the public? Okay, someone asked, is it true that Pelican can hold uh, in its beak enough food for me? Um, enough food for me? No, not really. Four kilos. Yeah. Oh, we can go up kilo, to 4 kilograms. Yeah. Yes, so in a day they can eat up to a kilo. Oh, yeah, so okay. 4 days worth. Oh, so but they will actually hold, hold it in their big if they are. No, no, they won't actually. Yeah. They don't store. Yeah, yeah. they don't store there. So what's the big for? Like, why so big? You know, these birds, they are social feeders. So that means that when they, um, when they look for food, they will swim and they will gather together and then they will open up their, their beak their beak into the water okay. so when that happens they open up and that's where every one of them will push the fish to a side or the corner of the fish and this is when they will open up their throat pouch fully and scoop up the fish and using the muscular uh, the muscles in the throat pouch to squeeze out the water out and that's where they will swallow the fish whole okay if you're just joining us we are the Singapore Zoo and River Safari. Right now we are at River Safari and we are at, with some pelicans and later on we'll be moving to the pandas quite shortly. So if you have any final questions about the pelicans, right, just uh, ask, ask them in the comments and we'll try to answer them. So when you watch the pelicans in Finding Nemo, they can really store the fish inside their food. But they don't store their food, they just eat. Like. Someone, uh, someone asked, how do you differentiate the male and female pelicans? Very simple, okay? The males are of course slightly bigger as compared to the females and also when it comes to breeding season, we know it's definitely a male because their head here will butt, so that means they are ready to breed. Okay. Mm. So what are they are females? Brown. Um. <laughs> if so they look bored enough for you? <laughs> females are smaller actually. Oh, okay. It's so playful. Oh yes. Uh, They like to play throw and throw and throw. No, throw, throw catch and throw. <laughs> okay, maybe the final question. Uh, someone asked, do they hatch their eggs? Yes, of course. These are birds and like birds lay birds. eggs. Yeah. Yeah, I throw the ball. Huh? Very catch. Huh? Go ahead. This one look right. Yeah. Look, use the force. Hang on. Huh? Look. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. One, two. Wow, oh, steady yeah, for yeah, good throw, yeah. Luke. You use the force, look. You are one with the force. Okay, we'll we'll need to move on to the pandas now. So yeah, let's thank uh, the pelicans and thank fantastic you, presenters. Thank you, Oshan and Tasha. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you, Have a good day. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. 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 Alright, let's move on to the panda. Hello. Lead the way, April. Thank you, Alex. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So a lot of people were asking about they want to meet the pandas. But they don't know actually what the pandas' names are. How many pandas are there and what their names are? What are their names? Huh? Actually, it's quite famous. Uh, you don't know? Ken Ken and Dada. Oh! Ken Ken and Dada. <laughs> Guys, comment on what their names are. Yeah. Help me find out what their names are. No prizes, uh, but we will actually meet them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, don't worry. We are walking there now. In the meantime, you can enjoy the view, the yeah. scenery of River Safari. From here, you can see Singapore Zoo on the other side. Oh, so that's where we were. Yeah. Sometimes you can see the giraffe, but other times you just see trees. Oh, you can see the rhinos actually. Right here. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, but cannot see them. It's okay, the trees are blocked. Come on, the bar, you know? 
Actually, when we asked the question about the pandas, actually our, uh, we already reviewed the answer in the comments. <laughs> Problem is, <laughs> we say Kai Kai and Jia Jia, right? That's their name. Yes. But why why are they called Kai Kai and Jia Jia? Why are they like Chinese names? Uh, well, all pandas in the world they originate from China. So actually, mm. all pandas belong to China. So made I guess in China. Yeah, made in China basically. <laughs> So I guess all their names kind of like uh, give tribute to a Chinese name in that sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it would be weird if suddenly the panda named Ahmad. Or like Charlie. <laughs> Say hello to Kai Kai and Jia Jia. Guys, yeah. this is the answer guys. So, uh, someone also asked earlier about being a zookeeper. How extensive like, is the training? And, yeah, what does it take to be a zookeeper? Uh, what does it take? Oh wow, okay, uh, it takes a lot of sauce because actually it takes a lot of passion and perseverance because it's not easy. So people think that uh, zookeeper, okay, it's quite true if you love animals, you consider being a zookeeper, but there's a lot of things that people don't think about, like cleaning the exhibit, there's a lot of cleaning to do, uh, a lot of planning to do, you do get to uh, create a bond with the animals, also depending on the animals. So here in the zoo and river safari, we divide them based on sections. Some keepers, they take care of all the reptiles in the parks. Some keepers, they take care of all the invertebrates, which are the insects and uh, other smaller animals without spines. Um, so it really depends on what you are able to take. Most of the time, as a zookeeper here, they will train you, they will teach you like, okay, today this is what you're going to do and this is why you're going to do it. So, I see, uh, I see. Yeah. So what animals have you bonded with? Um, I, well, we have our own cockatoo. Okay. So we do kind of take care of our cockatoo or a ball python. A and python? Yes, a ball python which is about so small. Wow. So the <laughs> it's okay, they're not that scary. Snakes are not scary. Like Poshan said, animals are not scary until you know them. No way. Oh. Animals are not scary if you <laughs> if you know them. If you know them, yeah. <laughs> Double negative. <laughs> that came out wrong. <laughs> yeah. So as long as you know the animal with awareness, I think they're almost scary. Yes, so, guys. Someone asked if uh, if we will consider renaming Kai Kai and Jia Jia. Uh, okay, well, guys. Before that, you all uh, suggest what Kai Kai and Jia Jia should yeah. be renamed to <laughs> so, in the comment section below. Yeah, I don't think we'll rename them, but, yeah, but what what I, names would you give? I them? would give a city and Ahmad uh, City and Ahmad. <laughs> but I don't know about you guys uh, since it's me in China. How about a uh, Wei Jie and a uh, Tianmin? <laughs> Sounds good, right? Eh? Yes. Sounds good, sounds good. But yeah, please tell us what would you name the pandas? I don't know, I'm really not the most creative person around. Okay, we are reaching the panda actually, but we can look at the... Hello. Oh yeah. Yeah, so this is a statue of Kai Kai and Jia or two pandas, whichever you would prefer to, to decide. Mm. And also, so if lovely. you look somewhere in the distance on the right side, yeah. it is a photo point that uh, just now we mentioned is part of the campaign. So in the zoo that we have photo points in River Safari, we also have those photo points. So you can go take pictures with it and look for the hidden mickeys there. <gasps> There's hidden mickeys there too. Yeah, but we don't have that for today. Right. We are here to see the pandas. Yes, and let's get to it. Okay, there's an art installation, right? Yes. Up ahead. So usually we have two pandas, like all of you know Kai Kai and Jia Jia. But this time for the campaign, we have four pandas. So four other pandas. than Kai Kai and Jia Jia, we have two doodle pandas, <laughs> which I think you would like to name. Whoa, 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 is this it? This is, no, this is not it. This, this is, is not Kai it. Kai Kai and Jia Jia. Okay. <laughs> Uh, Paul suggested to name them Singa and Pura. <laughs> oh, that's, uh, that's very patriotic indeed. That's really making them Singaporean. Yeah. Okay, so here we have this interesting looking installation. Yes. All we got to do, just like the cheetah, is to look for the two and take a picture of it. <laughs> I don't think you only need to look. Right? <laughs> it's pretty. Like how to not find this? We have to see it from the kid's perspective. So Maybe we go lower. It's, uh, okay, okay. Maybe uh, all right. This is the adult's perspective, and let's go down to the kid. Still looks great. Ah, uh, yeah, still looks pretty good. Um, why one of them bigger than the other? Yeah, actually, we created one for adults and one for child. Oh, oh yeah. And the and the child one looks sleepy. Yeah, <laughs> so Kai Kai and Cha Cha same size, uh, actually. Yes, both Kai Kai and Cha Cha. 
All right. Yeah, I so hope they're not sleepy though. I hope they're awake. So. You managed to spot both pandas. <laughs> I mean, come on. <laughs> well, they could be random chicks. So this oh, installation I... will be here for like 15. You can always come and spot it. I guess if you look it from this angle, you cannot really tell that it's a panda. Yeah. Like, uh, yeah, probably. Yeah. But... Wow, we're gonna <laughs> you look it from this angle. You can tell it's yes. a panda. That's great camera work, uh, yeah, that's yeah. Works. <laughs> okay, yeah. Okay, so it's... if you're just if you're just joining us now, we are at the river safari, and behind us you see the uninstallation of uh, two pandas. But we're actually going to meet uh, the two pandas in river safari. Yes. Kai Kai and Jia Jia. Yeah. And earlier you all gave some names, uh, but those are those are just uh, <laughs> creative ideas. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Well, what a way to put it, man. <laughs> Yeah, so, so uh, this installation is called the campaign. So if you come down to River Safari, uh, it's the same booklet. So if you go to the zoo, you buy this booklet. You, you can use it both in the zoo and in River Safari. And then just now in the zoo, what Abriel did was to find the cheetah. And then once he finished all the activities, he managed to get a Mickey keychain. Yes. But for River Safari, it is a mini keychain. Who oh, wouldn't want that, man? <laughs> Okay, so if you complete the three activities from the zoo and the three activities from River Safari, you actually get both Mickey and Mini keychains. You can't leave one without the other, right? Okay, so now we're gonna take a quick shortcut to get to meet Kai Kai and Jia Jia, okay? Yep. Way, so man. usually you can't have this shortcut, lah, but for you all, we're gonna take special this shortcut. Special stuff access. Yeah. yeah, since when y'all get special stuff, one, y'all get to ride on the buggy today, y'all get the special stuff access. And you all stand to win a, a chance to win a free ticket to the Singapore City. This is a gift shop. Good morning. Is it a bit cold out here? So this is a giant panda forest. Um, and here we have our two giant pandas. So let's see if we can spot both of them. Well, they, they have quite a big home uh, actually, just two of them and they have the... Yeah, so they have indoor dens, they actually have outdoor dens also. Okay. Uh, it's sometimes for enrichment, they will bring their pandas out. Why, why, mu why must the place be so cold for the panda? Because they live in the bamboo forest in China. They live in the bamboo forest in China and it's a little colder there than it is in Singapore. Because they are kind of like up in the mountain. Good morning, how are you? You want to have a closer look from here? Alright. Give me a minute guys. So this, this beauty here, the beauty here, uh, it is our senior center. Ni hao. Yeah, so if you have any questions on pandas, just ask in the comments and we'll try to answer them. Earlier, Eileen had a question. Yes, do pandas only eat bamboo? Um, in the world, no. Uh, they eat bamboo, they eat bamboo rats too, which can, which is a kind of rat that is found around bamboo. Um, so they are omnivores, they eat both bamboo and the rats. Here you see that they have two carrots. Let's see if we can follow her. So, yeah. they, they eat apples and carrots in the zoo yes. as well? So, Bamboo, apples, carrots, and also some nutritional biscuits. Panda biscuits. So for Tia Tia, she actually likes carrots a lot. So sometimes they give it to her as treats, but you can't give her too much. Okay. Uh, Arti asks, uh, who is better and less lazy? Kai Kai or Tia Tia? Better or and less lazy? Uh, lazy definitely is Kai Kai. Tia Tia is less lazy. Um, for me personally, when I visit Kai Kai, he's either eating or sleeping or eating while lying down. So I guess that's my the like just being the most lazy bear he can be. Kia Kia on the other hand, she will sometimes be pacing around the exhibit, walking up and down, kind of like a super star. Yeah, that's what he saw at the end. So, if y'all at home having breakfast, y'all can have breakfast with Kia Kia. Wait, so Tia Tia is less lazy? Yes. And maybe okay. that's why we haven't seen Kai Kai. Yeah, so Kai Kai is on the other side because even in the wild, pandas are solitary, which is why we keep our pandas separate. 
and then when it's time to mate, then we will introduce both genders together. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, so they, they won't be together today? No, not today. So pandas, they have a very short fertility window. Um, if I am not wrong, it's about 24 or 36 hours only. So they constantly test the urine to make sure that uh, once, they, once they are ready for mating, then they will introduce both pandas together. Let me get another angle. Woo! Can I see her from here? Nah, I can't see her from here. It's okay. You wanna go back? Yeah, I'm gonna go back. Okay, let's try to see Kai Kai. Let's try to spot Kai Kai and see if he gave any different So we see uh, Jia Jia here sitting down enjoying her bamboo. Okay lah. Let's see whether Kai Kai uh, so are they siblings? No, they're not siblings. Oh yeah, you just said meat, right? <laughs> Alright, you gotta see your other half. Yeah, okay. Bye-bye. Bye, Katia. Let's go. Okay. Okay. Like I told you, he behaves very differently from Tia Tia. He's a little bit more um, sloppy, if you would say. It's, it's quite cute. <laughs> so <laughs> when you're observing Kai Kai eat, he always has food all around his, his stomach and like his face and everywhere. While Tia Tia is more like a neat eater, she holds all the bamboo leaves and munches them neatly. So one way you could tell Kai Kai and Tia Tia way, uh, uh, separate from one another, other than the behaviorism, is the face. Okay, so Kai Kai actually has a pink nose. If you observe, he has this oh, it's blocking by the bamboo. Yeah, and then if you look at photos, sometimes you can see that uh, Kai Kai has a tuft of hair on the top of his head. So he looks like he has an onion-shaped head. But yeah, yes, it's flat. Uh, Jacqueline asks, uh, how many meals do they eat a day? Um, here we give them from three to five meals. Uh, and I think it's. Yeah, it depends on 3 to 5 meals, but the weight is always calculated, like how much bamboo is given in the morning, uh, in the afternoon and at night before the people sleep. And also in between, they will get treats like apples and carrots and biscuits. And all these bamboo are grown here in the park, so they are harvested by our own horticulture team. Okay, uh, Ziling asks who is more introvert and who is more outgoing? Uh, Abra, you want to guess? I guess Jia Jia says she's very lazy. Yes, okay, you're right. Uh, Jia Jia is a little bit more introvert. So there are times where people come to Giant Panda Forest and they don't see Jia Jia. That's because um, she's a little shy. She doesn't like it being unpredictable and sometimes it gets too loud for her. So she will head to the back. So if you don't see her in the exhibit, just look for her in, on the TV screen. There will be a camera that shows you where she is. But for Kai Kai, he's definitely more outgoing as long as the keepers are here with food. Kai Kai will just go wherever the apples are. How, how old are uh, Kai Kai? Uh, Kai Kai and Jia Jia came here five years ago, but I can't remember how old they are uh, exactly. Yeah, but they've been here with us in River Safari for five years. Five years? Yeah, enjoying all the bamboo that we grow for them. So, so you said there's a small percentage in right? Mm. So have they made the thing? Uh, they have. Uh, every year, the vet team will try their best to help and facilitate this meeting process between the two pandas. But so far, for the five years, it has been unsuccessful. Yeah. But usually, when it's during the mating period, uh, the giant panda forest will be closed because the pandas will need a lot of time and uh, quiet uh, environment to kind of focus on mating for that little window. Okay. Uh so there's a question from Jia Jia on Facebook. <laughs> okay. Uh, she, she asked, how long do pandas sleep? Sleep. 
Yeah. Oh, okay. So I don't know if you heard that, but that's the teeth carrying the bamboo. Uh, pandas, they sleep uh, about, I would say, approximately 10 hours. Yeah, but it, I mean, everybody has this idea that pandas sleep all the time, but actually in the whole uh, grand scheme of things, right, they're not one of the animals that sleep a lot. Like if you have a cat at home, I'm sure you think your cat sleeps a lot more than a panda. Um, but for pandas, they eat a lot because they are a big bear and then they feed on a lot, a lot of bamboo just to fill up their tummy. And they don't actually digest it very well. So sometimes if you come and you see poop around, you will realize that their poop has a lot of hay, uh, looks like hay and has a lot of bamboo leaves left in it. It's like a panda mukbang eh? <laughs> yeah, you can hear all the sounds. If you try it, like, you are breaking a bamboo with your hands and you can't do it, like you look at how easy Kai Kai does it. Yeah man. Like So earlier there was a question about how old Kai Kai Jia Jia is, right? Yeah. Yeah, so uh Kai Kai is actually thirteen this year and Jia Jia is twelve. Oh. Yeah. So they have been um, in other places before they came to River Safari. So they are kinda like mid age already at this point. Oh, oh I'm stuck. Yummy, yummy. So, so do they groom themselves or? Uh, they do. They do clean themselves, but not not very much like cats. Like cats do it quite excessively. For pandas, uh, if you're looking at Kai Kai, he has a lot of food on him. He'll just like sweep it off and then he can go about his day. Okay, so that I heard that's one of Kai Kai's favorite. Also, he will kind of peel all the sides of the bamboo off and then he'll eat the sweet center first and then after that he will move to the leaves and so he has like a whole system when, when, it, when he eats the bamboo uh, Okay, so if you still have any questions about pandas you can ask them now before uh, before we finish today's episode you can see uh, Kai Kai is really really enjoying his <laughs> Is it breakfast? Uh, yeah, it's kind of, it's considered oh, second kind of breakfast. breakfast. Second breakfast, yeah. Second breakfast, okay. Kai Kai is enjoying his second breakfast. So if you have any questions, uh, yeah, you can ask them and we will answer them. So Yan Ling said uh, it's a bit like eating Kit Kat. I guess it's because he's tearing the, the bamboo apart, right? So it's kind of like a Kit Kat. Do they like sugar cane, someone else? Oh, okay, that's a very common question. Uh, because sugar cane also looks a lot like bamboo. bamboo. Yeah, but uh, in the wild, they don't really find sugar cane. So, the bamboo forest don't have a lot of sugar cane. So, they eat the bamboo, they eat the bamboo shoot, but not the sugar cane. Someone, someone, uh, wait. Muhammad Shamiru asks, uh, do they eat pounds? <laughs> like in uh, Kung Fu Panda, right? Uh, well, would you like to answer that, Abriel? I don't think they eat pao. <laughs> no, but don't. yeah, but I guess pao is a very Chinese kind of snack. So there's that association there. Yeah. But they actually eat so. bamboo and yes. and you were sharing that here you also feed them carrots and mm -hmm. apples. Carrots and apples. And if you're talking about like man-made food, um, here in the zoo we give them panda biscuits, which kind of smell like meat and bread. Smell like apple. Those. Biscuits are filled with nutrition that they might get in the wall, like the bamboo rats. You can't give them bamboo rats here, so we have nutrition that uh, kind of replaces the bamboo rats uh, that can be found in the biscuits. Angelina asks if they clean themselves or do the zookeepers bathe them? Uh, no, the zookeepers don't bathe them because uh, these animals are still considered big animals, so we don't actually uh, get very close with the pandas. So here we do conditioning with our animals, not with pandas, but uh, for example, if you want like, to check their teeth, the keeper will do a special hand signal and then the pandas will open their mouth so they can see that they're eating cake. But basic per se, no, the keeper don't clean them unless there's some sort of injury and they will need the pandas help to kind of get it on Oh, you are enjoying the bamboo, aren't you? Huh? Guys, this is the dragon warrior. 
be handpicked by Master Ubu himself. Okay, so uh, we are almost at the end of our episode. Uh, you have enjoyed Kai Kai's mukbang for the past mm. I don't know, 5 to almost 10 minutes maybe. Yeah, who, who else can show a panda mukbang? And uh, it has captivated quite a lot of you all. Yeah, I guess you all learned a lot about panda today. Look at that. Look at the amount of food here. On his belly. Okay, I'm just gonna zoom in on his belly. Oh my lord. <laughs> So this is the classic state that you would find him if you visit him. Mom, if you are watching, right, I'm not that messy. <laughs> okay. So if you you want to come and see the pandas for yourselves, uh, maybe I can have Shirlin to share more about uh, some promotions that uh, WRS is having this period. Yeah. So. Um, if you're planning to come down to our zoo and river safari during the school holidays, we have the special campaign that we were talking about uh, since this morning at 9. It's the Disney Outdoor Explorers campaign happening from the 21st of November to the 29th of December. So all the activities will happen during the weekends and the public holidays of this period. So you can come, you can do the Explorer Trail booklet, or you can do the Doodle Mission card, the one that Abel tried drawing the orangutans just now. And then <laughs> try to redeem, oh, this is the one. And then you can redeem the the charms and the keychains at the different parks. Ooh, charms! <laughs> she doesn't like that. Yep. And then there are also photo points that we mentioned just now with all the hickey Mickey uh, yeah. hidden Mickey challenges. Yeah. And then if you would like to come down to the zoo and river safari, we actually do have a adventure promo for Singapore Zoo and River Safari where you get to enjoy fifty percent off admission if you buy your tickets online. So just as a tip, before you come, remember to buy your tickets online because you wouldn't be able to buy it here on site. And try to plan for about two to three hours per park so that you get a better experience and you don't have to rush from one park to another. Buy your tickets online, guys. Yes. Okay, so there was also the giveaway that we announced at the start and a lot of you all have been commenting. So if you haven't, what you have to do is really just uh, list out four of the animals that we visited today or, or meet today. And then just leave it in the comments and we'll select three lucky winners to win uh, tickets to Singapore Zoo and River Safari. It's just four animals eh guys. We, we, we saw so quite many. a lot, yeah. We see so many and you all need to list four just to get free tickets. This is really a giveaway, you know. So the... And uh, oh, where did he go? Looks like he's done eating. But uh, now we're gonna leave you with one last uh, final shot of uh, Kai Kai. Kai Kai. Alright, if I can pick my way through. So he has, uh, Kai Kai has moved from one place to another to continue eating. It's the only time you all can have breakfast with a panda. I hope you guys are enjoying your Kaya toast. Okay, so we'll leave you with Kai Kai enjoying his uh, second breakfast of the day. Thank you for tuning in and if you want to see more of the mukbang or you want to share this mukbang with your friend, you can share this stream. Yeah man, share, share this uh, mukbang with all your friends. Not every day you all get to eat with a panda. Okay, thank you. And Kai Kai says bye bye. Kai Kai says no time, I'm eating, you know. Don't disturb me. I'm having my breakfast. Yeah.